Hello guys, good morning. So in this session, I will be teaching you every day, every morning, some tip, some short, you know, topic. I will uh, cover some short topics each and every day. So stay tuned with me. So today we will discuss about harvest index, right? What is what we will discuss about harvest index? So what is harvest index? Let me ask this one. So harvest index, the term that is in short form, we will uh, write harvest index HI. Okay. So the term harvest index was given by. Donald, okay, Donald, the scientist, he gave the term harvest index. So, and the harvest index is otherwise known as coefficient of coefficient of effectiveness. Okay, coefficient of effectiveness. Harvest index is the term harvest index was given by Donald. And harvestiness is also known as coefficient of effectiveness. So, what is harvest index? Harvest index is basically the economic part, the usable part, the economic part, or you say usable part from the biomass, whatever biomass we get from a crop, the economic part, what we can consume, what we can sell, that is the harvest index. Okay. Mostly it is denoted as harvest index in short form is denoted as the economic yield upon biological yield. Okay. Biological yield. And this biological yield consists of again the economical yield plus rest of the biomass that is on economical level okay so if we say a rice plant suppose this is a rice plant okay these are the roots okay so what is the biological level the above ground part no this is the biological level suppose here are the panicles and there are, the, are get grains, calyopsis and all that. So, this above ground portion, whatever we see above the soil, that is biological yield. Biological yield. And this biological yield consists of, suppose grain, in case of rice, wheat and all uh, cereals, this is grain and straw. So, this both consists of consisted in biological yield okay and from this the grain is our economical part which we are consuming which we can sell that is the economic part economic yield okay and this is what this is the rest part rest of economic yield this part okay so whenever we uh, you know calculate harvest index of rice then we uh, should calculate like this yield of grain okay this is yield, yield of grain divided by yield of grain plus yield of straw so this is harvest index of cereals uh, let me tell you some special cases some uh, exam point of view or some important points i will uh, cite here okay so uh, what is the range of harvest index? Range of harvest index that is 0 to 1. Okay. A plant that that can produce something, you know. If it, whenever we are not applying any resource or nothing, nothing, we are doing nothing. Even though the plant is able to produce some economic yield. That's why uh, in the numerator we say the grain yield will be something. That is more than zero. Okay. And biological yield the biological yield. Again. So the harvest index will be more than zero. Okay. 
and if we uh, consider if the total above ground part whatever we get from above the soil that is a total part is economic okay economic yield then that economic yield is equal to biological yield so in that case we get 1 so the range will be 0 to 1 it cannot be negative or it cannot be more than 1 because economic yield cannot be more than biological yield okay it can be equal to biological yield I am giving you the example so uh, in case of cereals if we see that harvest index varies from in case of cereals cereals like rice, wheat the harvest index varies from like 0.4 to 0.5 especially in case of rice and wheat in case of maize it is somehow lower okay and uh, okay in pulses this is around 0.2 to 0.3 like that in pulses it is quite lower in case of RR it is the lowest RR harvest index is the lowest okay that is around 19 percent okay so these are some uh, of the example of some you know uh, exam point of view these are important like in case of cereal 0 to uh, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 in case of pulses that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 in case of or this is the lowest then uh, some special cases like uh, okay forest crops what is the economic part of forest crop whole above ground parts okay if we say forest maize or forest sorghum if we say uh, some grasses okay then above, whole above ground part is the economic yield so here economic yield is equal to biological yield so in case of forest crops the harvest index is close to 1 okay in case of forest crops if uh, it is a question in the exam then you have to select the option 1 okay in case of forest crop this is 1 so uh, let me uh, give an example of uh, how you will calculate harvest index okay suppose uh, in uh, exam it is given that the grain yield yield of grain that is 4 ton per hectare and yield of straw that is 6 ton per hectare so it is asking what is the harvest index of that suppose this is rice okay suppose this is rice and the grain yield is 4 ton per hectare and straw yield is 6 ton per hectare what is the harvest what would be the harvest index so as we know harvest index is equal to grain yield divided by biological yield yield okay so what is biological yield again grain yield plus straw yield okay so uh, sorry so here grain yield is 4 ton per hectare and straw yield is 6 ton so uh, here in numerator sorry denominator you can Okay, a grain yield plus straw yield, so 4 plus 6 ton per hectare, ton per hectare, ton per hectare cancel, 4 by 10 is equal to 4 by 10, so this is 0 0.4, so the harvest index here is 0 0.4, somehow some people they express this like 40%, okay, you can also express, that is the coefficient of effectiveness, that is 40% of uh, that bio biological aid is economical or consumable okay so you got it so this is for today